All right, if you were born between 1965 and 1980 and you're online, then you're a member of the Gen X generation. And if you're sometimes fed up with certain posts that you see because uh, you're in that category, <laughs> well, here's a suggestion. Follow the social pages of this guy because he'll probably say what you couldn't or shouldn't. <laughs> Ooh, I'm intrigued. Jeffrey Thomas is a local man who's used his humor and creativity to become a fast rising digital creator, entertaining people all around the internet. And guess what? He's in the mix studio with us this morning with all of the details. Good to see you. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Happy Groundhog Day. Thank you. Yeah. Finally got him out of his uh, digital cave. This has been bugging me for uh, really? quite yeah. a while yes. to get me out of my studio, which is my fortress of solitude. So. Okay. Well, hey, well, we're finally happy to have you here, okay, sharing uh, all of your knowledge. So tell us about you. What made you want to get into becoming a digital creator? Really, it was just happenstance. Uh, you know, the social media had gotten so really toxic and I was thinking of, of leaving it all together but I decided to change my own algorithms by not engaging in the negativity that was online and lo and behold doing positive posts and doing the humor that I have ended up gaining me a, a lot of followers and I got a notification from Facebook one day saying hey would you like to become a would you like to change your profile page to professional? And I said, sure. I have no idea what that means. Right. <laughs> and after a certain amount of time, you keep posting. And they said, hey, would you like to make some reels, which was their competition for TikToks, and uh, we'll pay you a bonus structure for it because they were really trying to muscle into the TikTok market. And I said, sure. I started making a few reels, dating advice, things like that. And I had seen a post about why Gen Xers are always so perpetually upset. And I decided to make a video on it. And I woke up the next morning and I had 10,000 followers. And the next morning I had 30,000 followers. Wow. And 60,000 the next week and then 100,000. And I, it really was something that I just continued to do. I started tapping into those really deep dive memories that we all have and people really responded to it. The sleeping giant that is Gen X responded to it in force. And, and, and along those lines, the umbrella theme of all your posts, Real talk from a 50-something white guy. Exactly. And again, you just muse on all things Gen X related. And you have a lot of posts and, like we said, a lot of reactions. Where do you get all of these ideas from? Literally from the, um, the deep depths, the, the well of my brain. Because I'm trying to do the things that are really deep diving into Gen X. I want people to watch my videos and say, I totally forgot all about that and then get flooded with the memories that come along mm. with that. I don't want people Very to sure. sit there and think I'm old and that was long gone. I want them to think, wow, I remember that now and it makes me feel good. And people are responding to it. I, I really thought I was going to get a lot of negativity from it, and it hasn't happened really at all. That's it, awesome. So you're just very relatable, and people just are reminiscing with what you're talking about. I'm really just like doing the voice that's already inside their head. I'm just saying the quiet parts out loud. So when people watch your videos, you may notice you speak at a like very fast pace. And that's just for time constraints. I mean, ah. I, I, in normal conversation, you have 60 seconds if you want captions, and you have 90 seconds total. Okay. So to get the idea across, I do have to speed up in my edits. And I get a lot of comments about how fast I talk. I can talk fast as it is, but I do that on purpose. I'm a huge Phil DeFranco fan and it helps keep people engaged right. because if they miss something or feel like they miss something because I talk too fast, they'll watch it twice or maybe thrice. Oh, and then that viewership. And then the viewership and then the ad yes. revenue comes in. Yeah. 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 What's going on with this Got thing? you, buddy. And again, since you've started doing this, the reaction, like you said, has been just globally positive because you, there is never anything negative that you're talking about. You're literally talking about just the good memories that we used to have growing up. Uh, you know, uh, jumping on ramps that are made with <laughs> concrete blocks and no a, helmets, and a two by four, no, pads, no helmets, and things like riding that. Riding in the back of a pickup truck at 55 miles an hour. Uh, what's the most difficult thing about being a digital creator? Not copying anyone else, or, or not. I, I never want to be that guy that copies somebody else's idea. So coming up with original ideas is the hardest part. And then I enjoy watching the other Gen X digital creators mm -hmm. copy my stuff. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm the person that are always in comments, and usually viewers will call the content creator out and be like, oh, so-and-so and tag that person right. did yeah. this, No, right? doing totally original content is very difficult. Imitation okay. is the sincerest for a flattery, except when money is involved. Exactly, exactly. right. Exactly.
All right. Uh, where can people follow you, Jeff? I'm on all the socials, but where you'll find me the most is Instagram and Facebook. It's Jeffrey R. Thomas. That's E R Y. Just search Jeffrey R. Thomas and Gen X. You'll find me. You'll see this face. Okay. And you'll find them on YouTube as well, too. Uh, check it out, man. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Yeah, that's Thanks awesome. Thanks for having me. You may now head back into your digital cave. We'll do it. <laughs> yeah, work more, on your next video. More right? posts to come.